Hey, Michael here for Beer Baseball Blog, The Adventures of Craft Beer and Baseball. And I'm Kevin Lyon, field correspondent and senior research analyst for the Beer Baseball Blog. And we are back at the ballpark. And we are back at the brewery. We are here at Sam Manuel Stadium in San Bernardino, California to see the Inland Empire 66ers host the Fresno Grizzlies in a low A level baseball game. Let's check it out. Okay, Kevin, so the brewery today is Luchador Brewing Company in Chino Hills, California. What do you know about it? This was just started pretty recently around the time of the pandemic. And this is the only brewery in Chino Hills, California, the first one. Hopefully many more are coming. When you go inside, you'll be able to see there's some lucha decor throughout the place. And they have Mexican food available too. And a good variety of beers. Their goal eventually is to have 20 beers on tap. All right, so I'm excited. So let's go check it out. Okay, Kevin, so we had some really great beers. Uh, what do we have? We actually had a flight. Believe it or not, there's still flights. That's still a thing. We had one that we had before on a hoppy hour called Lucha Lager. And then we had three IPAs. We had the Macho Hop Man, probably the favorite one of us. Dig it. One called Twist of Fate, named after Jeff Hardy's, or the Hardy Brothers move. And Zamba Slam, with an explanation point in the end. We got to watch some AAA wrestling and really have some really great beers at a really great facility. Check out Luchador Brewing. But now it's off to San Bernardino to the Inland Empire 66ers. Let's check it out. We are here with Joe Hudson, the GM of the Inland Empire 66ers and his son Chase. Joe, can you tell me your capacity here at uh, San Manuel Stadium? Yeah, no, I'm the general manager here for the 66ers and I, be I believe this is my eighth season in that role. And, and you go back to Fiscalini Field? Well, I didn't work I didn't work at Fiscalini, but yeah, I've been, uh, I'm from San Bernardino. Uh, I remember I, one of my first baseball clinics as a kid was at Fiscalini Field. Awesome. And then you used to roll hot dogs uh, in the concessions, is that, am I right on that? Yeah, yep, yeah, you know, you're right. That's where I got my uh, my start when I was in high school back in 2001. My first job was in concessions and uh, I rolled hot dogs. I was a warehouse guy. I uh, took out trash, uh, whatever whatever it takes. Were they the stampede at that point? Is that what team it was? I'll try to remember when they were. Yeah, uh, 2001, uh, my first year here, they were the stampede and I believe it was 2002 when they transitioned over to uh, the 66ers for the first time. It's been there that, been that, that it's long. Been that long. Wow. Yeah, and then we had the we had the uh, brand re remake back in 2014. Right. We we changed over the brand, kept the name, but of course, kind of changed the look and the right. feel of the of the brand, and uh, been the same since. Yeah, because that's when you brought in Slick as their second mascot. Because I'm definitely definitely a fan of Birdie myself. Yeah, well, Birdie's still the rock star. Yeah. How's the community been so far with opening back up and everything here in uh, in San Bernardino? There's certainly been a, a bit of a transition mm -hmm. uh, from being uh, shut down for a while. Right. But uh, but now that we're back up and running, you know, the, the fan base has been great and, and it's just been, it's nice to get back out, you know? That's good. That's, we could probably go over a hundred things that were bad last year for minor league baseball. Tell me something good that came out of last year. Well, I can tell you a lot of our uh, of fans that, that missed us last year, they're excited to get back. The other thing that we really, really recognize is the support that we get from our community partners, from our sponsors, from our season ticket holders. I gotta tell you, it was very humbling for to see how many people, uh, all of our season ticket holders and our corporate partners, that were willing to work with us. You know, when we got canceled last year, we were, uh, God, what, it was like, it was May 15th, I think, or so, when, when the official announcement was that the season was postponed. And I gotta tell you, I would say almost every season ticket holder, almost every corporate partner, they've already made, they've already made payments, they gave us money, they continue to support us, and they continue to allow us to maintain that, keep that money, and, and, and help us stay afloat over that, you know, I don't know, last year. Definitely, so we're all about craft beer and baseball, what is some great craft beer that we can find here at San Manuel Stadium? This is the first one that comes off the top of my head is Hangar 24. They've been a, they've been a big partner of 
bars since uh, 2008, I believe it was. I think that was their first year, it could be 2007, their first year in existence. We were one of the first locations to carry their beer. And since then, that we've been big partners with them for a long time. They make great beer. We've got the Hangar 24 Craft Beer Garden over in the uh, the third base side there, still open and, and active. So that's one of the great ones. Uh, Chihuahua Brewing Company, great little company. We've gotten them over here. They've got a great little uh, mixture of the Mexican style lagers here on site. Uh, so they're fantastic. Uh, and then of course, you know, we've got our bigger brands like Budweiser who have other other uh, entities like um, Golden Road Brewery and things like that. So don't get me wrong. You can't go to a Sunday game, a day game without thinking a little bit of fresh cold beer, right? If you're in the sun, you gotta have a cold beer. So I get it. That craft beer beer is uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing this time of year. So who are we going to watch on the uh, 66ers? Who's someone to watch that, that we can keep an eye on that's going to be a big league star one day? You know, I think Deshaun Knowles just came up. He was uh, he was on the injured list um, early in the year. He's supposed to be on our roster. Uh, he got he just came out. I think he got out here uh, Tuesday or Wednesday this week. I think that's one guy to keep an eye on and, and you know, keep your sights on because I think you'll see him move up the ladder pretty quickly. And the other guy I heard about is uh, Jeremiah Jackson, who's like a top prospect. I saw he had two home runs here last night. Yeah, Jeremiah Jackson's another one. I mean, again, it, you know, we're so early in the year, and we're, these guys are just starting to get settled in. I know we're in our fourth week, I think, now of being up and going, but they're starting to get settled in. They played real well the last couple of nights, and uh, it's, it's, it's exciting to see them starting to hit the ball a little bit and, and come together as a team. Well, let's check out some Sunday afternoon baseball here at the Enlon Empire 66ers. All right, thank you so much for joining us today. Hey, thank you guys. Appreciate it. So of course we're beer baseball, so you're gonna catch us by the Hangar 24 Craft Beer. Kevin, what do we got today? I have the uh, Pacific Coast Hazy IPA. It's a 4.8 percenter. Actually, Angela had it on our show Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Pacific, by the way. That's right, and I got the Citrus Blonde, so let's go check out some more of the game. Coming. Good to see you, sir. Missed Woo. ya. Kevin, so that is it from San Manuel Stadium, the Inland Empire 66ers. Take it. What do you have to say? They went three to one. They actually pulled off a sweep this weekend over the Fresno Grizzlies, and we had a great time over here. Well, thank you to Steve Went and Joe Hudson for all their hospitality. Thank you to the Inland Empire 66ers entire organization. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Turn on those notifications, and we will see you next time at the ballpark. Woo!